you ever feel like the AI world is moving so fast that no one stops to explain what's actually going on? Well, OpenAI just dropped something huge and they did it quietly. If you care about privacy and accessibility or running AI without sending everything to the cloud, this might be the biggest update of the year. A dead of a collective presence. Voice over pro. All right, let's break this down in plain language. Open AI just released two open weight models, one around 20 billion parameters and the other one around 120 billion parameters, not open source, but open weight. That different matters. Open weight basically means this. You're allowed to download the model and run it on your own hardware and fine tune it for your own use cases. But OpenAI still owns the license and sets the rules. So this ain't do anything you want with it, like some open source models, but it is a huge step for AI that people can actually control on their own devices instead of going through the cloud. Why is that a big deal? Right now, most AI runs in the cloud. Every message, every picture, every document you analyze goes through someone else's servers. With these models, Open AI is basically saying, here, here's the engine, run it yourself. That's a massive, massive shift for privacy. If you can run the model locally, that means no cloud logs, no extra servers in the middle, and no one else scanning your data. It's just you and your device. For people that care about sensitive information, that is huge. Lawyers, therapists, journalists, and honestly, anybody who doesn't want their stuff sitting in someone else's server or data center. Now, let's talk about accessibility because this is where it really gets interesting for our community. Think about tools that we already use. Apps that read text, describe images, recognize objects, help with documents. Most of those send, da send data to the cloud. Imagine that same power, but offline. No Wi-Fi, no signal, but it still works. Local AI means faster responses, more re reliability and less stress of what's happening with your data in the background. As someone that uses tech every single day, I see this as a direct win for accessibility. Internet goes down, you still got AI. You're in a weird spot with bad service, your tools still work. You don't want your face, your house or your documents flying off to some server, local model, problem solved. Now, why did OpenAI actually do this? Let's be real, this is not just about being kind. They're under pressure. Meta has Llama, Google has Gemini, and all these companies are dropping models that people can run locally or on cheaper hardware. So open AI releasing open weight models, it's saying that, all right, we can play this game as well, but in our terms, their strategy is clear. Give people more control and more privacy by letting them run local models on their computers but keep the licensing tight. So 
OpenAI still owns the core technology from a business perspective, that's a smart middle ground. Now, let's talk power levels without getting too nerdy. The smaller 20B model is for light setups. It's the kind of thing you can run on a strong desktop, maybe even future laptops or the engine inside AI apps or AI browsers. It can handle chat, reasoning, and document analysis. Those AI tasks that we already use. The 120B model, it's a beast. This one needs serious hardware, but in exchange, you get better reasoning and better planning and more advanced performance. Think research workflows, more complex coding or bigger agent systems running on servers that you still control instead of everything living on AI's site. So what does this actually change moving forward? We're moving to a world where AI lives on your device, not just in someone else's data center. And phones start acting more like AI computers. Laptops and desktops can run big models locally. Agents can work offline Assistive tools become more faster and more private by default. And here's the bigger picture. Privacy becomes a feature, not just a check box. Cloud costs go down for companies that adopt local models. Competition goes up because open AI is now forced to compete with a smarter model, but who gives users more control? Is it perfect? No, it's still licensed. The, there are still usage rules. Not everyone has the hardware to run these models as well, but direction wise, this is a big signal. AI is slowly stepping out the cloud and into your pocket, your laptop, and your local network. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure you subscribe and share this video for more people to get what's actually happening with AI instead of just seeing the headlines. And jump into the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Do you trust offline AI more than cloud AI? Or does this feel like the start of something more powerful and maybe a little scary? This is VoiceOver Pro and I catch you on the next one.